Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to set up a basic work cell curve using your current sense. This isn't the only way to make a curve, but I believe this method is beginner friendly and works for all games. Hopefully with enough experimenting, we'll find a curve that works for you. So, let's get started. So what is mouse excel? Mouse acceleration is when the distance your cursor moves on the screen is dictated by the speed of your mouse. This is me flicking around without mouse excel. I can barely turn 90 degrees. On raw excel, this appears as a flat line on the sensitivity graph. With mouse acceleration on, I can turn around 180 degrees much more comfortably using the same hand motion as before. This is what a simple linear acceleration curve could look like. The relationship shows that the faster the input speed, which is the speed you move your mouse, the higher the sensitivity. To understand this sensitivity graph a bit better, let's break it down into three variables. A base sensitivity, which is where acceleration will start from, a maximum sensitivity, which is the highest sensitivity you will feel, and acceleration, which put simply, is how quickly the base sensitivity transitions into the maximum sensitivity. The steeper the curve, the quicker the transition. Using these basic principles, we can now move on to setting up our own curve. When making a curve, it is recommended to use a DPI of 1600. Raw Excel functions by reading the number of inputs from the mouse. The higher the DPI, the greater the number of inputs recorded. This decreases the jump between each sensitivity change and results in a smoother feeling curve. Although a higher DPI increases granularity, too high of a DPI may cause issues and so 1600 is considered the happy medium. But you're probably thinking, if I increase my DPI, would I have to lower my sensitivity? Well, not necessarily, as raw Excel has a sense multiplier function, which essentially multiplies your DPI and can be used to replicate the feeling of your old settings. Finding an appropriate Excel curve depends on the type of sensitivity you are starting with. If you have a low sense, you struggle with turning around or run out of mouse pad space too often. If you have a high sense, you struggle with small micro adjustments or tracking accurately at longer ranges. Whichever scenario you fall under, you will want to follow the guide accordingly. To make this guide easier to follow along, I've made a simple calculator which you can access with the first link in the description below. Let's say you're starting with a low sensitivity. Enter your current settings into the calculator and head down to the Find a Higher Sense section. In the green box, add a value greater than your low sense and the calculator will give you two values that you can copy over into raw Excel. For this example, we're going to use the natural curve. But this guide works for both linear and classic, so feel free to give them a go too. Load up raw Excel and under the drop down menu, click natural. Now from here, you wanna copy the sense multiplier across, which is 0.25 for this example, and copy the cap value into the limit. Hit apply and you've got your first curve. Load up in the game of your choice and start experimenting. Try to practice a wide range of motions, from micro tracking to 180 degree turns. The right curve should never make you fight the mouse to control it. Let's address some specific problems you may find with your first curve. If you find your aim lagging behind the target whilst you're tracking, we could possibly fix this by increasing the acceleration, which for the natural curve is called decay rate. Hit apply and test it in the game. By increasing the acceleration, we increase the sensitivity at slower hand speeds, and this should hopefully ease the trailing behind effect that you felt before. If you find yourself over flicking, or flicking past the target, then we may want to lower our maximum sensitivity on the curve. Open up raw Excel and lower the cap, which in natural is called limit. Again, hit apply and test again. You should find that with the same hand motions, your flicks won't go as far. Now all that's left to do is to tweak the curve to your liking until you find something that works for you. For high sense, we can start the same as before by adding your current settings to the calculator. This time, we can head to the find a lower sense section and enter a base sensitivity that you would like to test. Copy the values from the calculator into raw Excel. For this example, we're going to use a linear curve. After applying, Make sure to take the low sensitivity you entered in the green box and apply it to your in-game sense. 
My flicks here feel pretty good, but I find myself struggling with micro adjustments, so let's tweak the curve to try fix that. Open up the calculator and increase your low sense in the green box. Update both your output gap in raw Excel and the sensitivity you have in game. By making this adjustment, the maximum sensitivity will remain the same, but the base sensitivity will be higher than before. From here on, it's just tweaking and experimenting till happy. Before I close off, I'd like to cover a few other features of Raw Excel, just in case you need them. If you want to delay when acceleration kicks in relative to your hand speed, then you may wish to use an input offset. This increases the range of your base sensitivity and may be useful if you would prefer a fixed base sense for your slow hand movements. Why do we cap the acceleration? Why don't we just let it go on to infinity? Well, when you cap the acceleration, you are telling RoxL that your sensitivity won't go higher than this point. This allows you to gain familiarity with faster movements, such as 180 degree turns. When you flick the mouse, it will be just as if you are flicking on a high sense, and therefore the muscle memory of that motion can be learned and repeated naturally without deviation. That pretty much sums up the basics. Any relevant links, including the Raw Excel Discord, will be included in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what curves you come up with. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.